homework time. Yes, happy, happy homework time is here yet again. Lesson seven of module four. Gee, I'm a tree, said the acorn one day when he grew up. Let's start by putting our name down at the top of the paper. I'll put my name and you put yours. And for the date, go ahead and write today's date. I'll write today. You write the actual date where and when you are in this world. Our instructions. Construct angles that measure the given number of degrees. For problems one through four, use the ray shown as one of the rays of the angle with its endpoint as the vertex of the angle. Then draw an arc to indicate the angle that was measured. Okay, no prob, Bob. So here's our ray that we're given. And we're to use this endpoint here as the vertex. And you see number one here, we're to make it 25 degrees. Now, um, you are to use a protractor to do this. I'm just going to uh, do a rough estimate. So look, hey, I know if this is 90, half of that is 45, and then about half of that will be, you know, be 22 and a half. So I'm gonna just draw a line from the vertex. So yours should look, see, so like, like here would be 90, 45, 22 and a half about, yay. So yours should look right about there. And I should, just for conformity's sake, make an arrow here so it is a ray. So there's my angle. And then the arc shows that it's this angle. And the reason this is important is because it could be the exterior angle here. It could be the outside of this, um, which is a different thing altogether. Um, so now mine is not to measurement. Mine is, is an estimate here to use your... Uh, your protractor and draw it more exactly. Now notice on this one, the arrow is going the other way. So this ray is pointing in that direction. So here's our vertex. So I'm gonna start from there. Whoa, okay. And so this would be 90. So 85 is gonna be just shy of that. So it is acute, it's less than 90. So 85 is gonna be just shy of 90 degrees. Your angle should look something like that. And again, to draw that arrow at the end of it and the arc to indicate, hey, this is the angle. So one and two should look something like that, although yours will be measured with the protractor. Let's go on to three and four with the same instructions. And here in three and four, we see small difference, right? In that the rays we've been given are no longer parallel to the bottom of, of the page, that they're themselves at an angle. So when you line up your protractor, yes, you'll put the circle on the vertex, but then the line coming off the center of the protractor needs to be aligned with this arm. So it won't just be straight with the paper, parallel with the bottom of the paper anymore. It'll be at the same angle of this ray, otherwise your measurements will be off. So now to draw 140 degrees, here's my vertex, because the arrow of the ray is at the other end. Here would be 90, right? And all the way over would be 180. So let's see. So there's 90. What's middle between 90 and 180? Hmm, that's 90 degrees, right? Half of which is 45, so 135. So that mid, midway between right angle and straight angle there would be 135, so it's gonna be a little bit more than that. And so you see you're running against the edge of the paper here. So this arm of the angle is gonna be a bit shorter, at least for me. Um, so your 140 should look right about yay. And don't forget to put the arrow indicating that this is a ray, and then of course the arc. Now this is not, ac not acute, it's obtuse. So it's larger than that 90 degree right angle. Notice four is a little wackadoodle here. It's 83 degrees. We just did 85. Um, so this is gonna be pretty similar, but now we again have that slanted ray. So make sure you line up the line on your protractor, put the center the protractor on the vertex. So this would be like a 90 degree angle, right? You see that? Although yeah, hey, I could draw it here and then just put the arc in there, but I'm gonna do it here because I have more room. Um, so 
there, that would be 90. And then, so yours is going to look a, a little like this. That may not be totally true. You're using your protractor to measure again. Um, and then do draw the arrow of the ray, and it's going to be an arc. It's close to a right angle, but it is acute. It's less. It's 83 degrees. All right, and so again, these are approximations. All right, you use your protractor. And by the way, if you don't have a protractor at home when you're trying to do this homework, for the love of corn, don't go into school tomorrow and say, I couldn't do it. I didn't have a protractor. You can do exactly what I did here and estimate and write your teacher a little note and say, I didn't have a protractor at home, so I estimated these angles the best I could without one. That is a better thing, trust me, from a teacher perspective than showing up with a blank piece of paper saying shrug. So you say, I did the best I could under the circumstances. Let's move on. And in five through eight, our instructions are the same, except that we are not giving, uh, given, 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 that starting ray. So we have to draw it ourselves. And tell you what, to make life a little easy for the both of us, I'm just going to go ahead and draw the four starting point rays. And I'm going to make them, I'm going to, notice I'm going to leave some room over to the left there. Um, and I'm going to make them best I can anyway. Um, parallel with the bottom of the page to make life easy for myself and yourself. All right. And I am looking to see if they're acute or obtuse, by the way, uh, in terms of placing these rays. Whoa, what'd I do? Craziness. Ignore that. All right. And so like this one's very obtuse, so I'm going to move the ray over this ways a bit. Okay. And to make these all actually raise, I'm going to put arrows on the ends of them. Some of my arrows will be better than others. Sorry, I'm not very good at arrows. All right. And again, I'm estimating the best I can. You have yourself hopefully a protractor to do this. So here's my vertex. This would be 90 degrees, right? That's we, we just use it as a reference point. This angle is obtuse, 108 degrees. So it's a bit more than the 90 degrees, right? We know we determined this would be 135. So 108 is just, so there's 90. 108 is just past that 90. We'll say like there. And I'm going to go back and, well, all right, I'll do it now, fine. All right, there's my arrow and there's my arc for 108. 72 we know is acute. Right, so if there's a 90 degree, there we already did like an 85 and 83, so it's going to be a bit less. Here's 45, right, to give you a reference point. So give you a sense, it'll be about there when you draw it out using your protractor to measure. 25, though, finally we're getting something a little different here. If this is 90 and this is 45, you know, halfway between 0 and and, and, and this is zero, so keep that in mind. Here's zero, 45. 25 is going to be about in the middle. 22.5 would be the actual middle. So it's going to be about, about half of a 45 degree angle. Definitely acute. Should look something like that. Draw your arrow for the ray and the arc to indicate this is the angle that's measured, which I failed to do up here, but have now amended. And then the last one, 155. Okay, well, think. That's 90. That's 180. 135 is the midpoint. So 90, 135, 155 is going to be a bit more. Now, how far is that from 180? Yeah, it's only 15 degrees, 25 degrees, 35. How far is it? Okay, yeah, 25 degrees. So it's going to look actually just like that 25 degree angle we just did, but in reverse, turn inside out in a sense. So like yay. So this is a, a rough estimate of what it should look like. And that's definitely obtuse. Hey, great, we've drawn ourselves some fine looking angles here. Let's move on. And in the last two, can you believe we're already almost done? I love this geometry stuff. Um, we actually see the two angles that we've referenced uh, several times already. So let's start out just by drawing those baseline rays. This one's going to be acute, so I'm going to put it a little to the left, right? And then draw it coming in. Although you can draw these any which way, right? We know that. 
but I'm just trying to make life easier for the both of us. Um, so, and then 135 is a two, so I'm gonna move it a little to the right to give myself room to draw. And then both of these are rays. I'll draw my arrows at the end and the vertex goes at the point end of the ray. Okay, so now 45 we've uh, referenced a few times, like if that's 90, that's a right angle, 45 is the halfway point. Yay, bouts. But again, keep saying this. You're, you're actually measuring it. And then there's our arc to show, hey, this is the angle I'm referencing. And then 135 is the same thing turned inside out. So there's 90. There's 180. 135 is the midpoint between them. It's going to be about yay. And go ahead and give it an arrow and an arc. And I'm going to try to repair my sloppiness there. Oh, man, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Look at that. We did it. Homework time is done. You did it. You completed another homework. I will see you next time. It is once again homework time. <laughs>